Hello. In this session, we are going to talk about fractions. But before that, let us make a mind map or a concept map of all the words that are connected with fractions. I will tell you what a mind map is. The mind map helps us in organizing our thoughts. It has a sequence of thoughts. All the time, the mind is receiving information and data. So instead of just dumping it inside the brain, if we can organize it in a proper way, it's easy to retrieve the information whenever we require. I'll give an example. For example, when we buy things, when we buy supplies, if we dump everything in the room, it will be difficult to find a pen. right? But if you know where the pen is, where is it in the shelf, where the paints are, where the scissors are, where the paper is, then it's easy to retrieve it and use it. In the similar way, even our thoughts need to be organized in our mind in a proper way so that we can retrieve the information whenever we require. I'll show you how we do it. Let us prepare a mind map for fractions. This is an example of a fraction. This is an example of a fraction. This is another example of a fraction. This is another example of a fraction. So these are examples of a fraction. Now, what do we mean when we say a fraction? A fraction is nothing but a part of a whole. So that is the central theme. It's a part of a whole. So a fraction is a part of a whole. If we look at a fraction, we see two numbers. Right? So this is called a numerator and this is called a denominator. So let us write down those terms. So denominator is the number of parts the whole has been divided into. And this part which is on top is called a numerator. So the, the part that you take out of the whole is called a numerator. Now there are different types of fractions. Let us use a different pen for that. Let's write it over here. Types of fractions. Let us see what are the types of fractions. They are proper fractions. There are improper fractions. And there are mixed numbers, mixed fractions, or they're also called as mixed numbers. So these are the types of fractions. Now we also hear something called as like fractions, unlike fractions and equivalent fractions, right? So let us look at what they are. Like fractions, unlike fractions and equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions.
right now we also hear about the operations of fractions we do addition of fractions addition we do subtraction subtraction we do division we do multiplication so we do all these four operations with fractions so let us write down even these terms when we do these operations with the fractions we come across terms such as lcm hcf prime number and prime factorization factorization we also come across terms such as decimal percentage ratio so these are also in a way connected to fractions so this is a mind map of all the terms that we come across fractions so in this session we have prepared a concept map for all the terms that we come across when we are doing fractions in the next session we are going to visualize each of these terms using a fraction kit